Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In my last couple of videos, you've seen me make over my living room, which included installing a new wood burner, which I absolutely adore. I also gave the kitchen a bit of a refresh, trying to use as much as what was in there because this will get done at a later stage in the project. But for now, it's a massive improvement on what it was before. So let me show you what I've been getting up to since then. Things have been a little bit quiet for me recently because things are at a bit of a standstill inside the house I'm waiting on some quotes from some builders for the next stage of work that I want to get done so that is taking a lot longer than I had hoped so in terms of inside the house I'm going to leave that for another video because it's actually a dry day albeit a little bit cold so I'm going to go outside and carry on with the rest of my garden makeover. Last year I did the patio area which proved to be quite a popular video but if you haven't seen that already I will link that up on screen for you to check that out. Obviously over winter things get a little bit grimy, your plants die back. So I did actually make a start last week on tidying things up. Yesterday I bought some plants from B&Q so that I can make a start on my basket. So I'm going to get that done today. Last week I did cut down a bush which has left some branches which I'm going to cut down. It is a bit cold so I'm going to go and get a little bit more wrapped up, get my shoes on and head outside. So this is how everything's looking at the moment. Block paving is definitely not my favourite. Lots of weeds, moss, clearing up that needs to be done. Last week I potted this patio rose which I'd bought last year. So I've just put the obelisk in there for it to grow around, hopefully. I repotted the azalea into a much bigger pot and that's starting, that's starting to flower. And the hyacinths are starting to come through. I've been mixing in some ash from the fire with some of the soil as well. The hyacinth there. And I've cut back some of this. One of the hanging baskets came down in the storm a couple of weeks ago. You can see the cats have been using the fence as a scratching post. All of that will get a fresh coat just to brighten it up. Jet wash all down here and touch up any bits of pin. I've potted up a hydrangea that I pinched off my mum. Um, it's a bit all over the place but this will be well, it's growing nicely. I've cut it back a little bit and then I've got some more pots here that I need to sort out. These pots as well aren't doing too well with the paint, so I don't really rate the Ron Seal outdoor colours without a primer. But yeah, paint, an absolute mess. And that is what has been cleared down here. Just insert what this looks like before. There was a big bush over here, so I can carry on now doing the rest of those panels and get the ones at the bottom replaced. This tree has been cut back so that's going to come down and open up some more space and I will probably do some decking down at the bottom and a pergola. I just picked up some pansies from B&Q on a four for 12 pound offer and also these alliums. So I'm going to get these potted up and start the plants off for this year. So I'm going to throw away some of the old wall baskets which aren't looking so good. And I'd actually picked some of these up last year which didn't end up getting used so I can use them this year in replacement of the ones that are looking a little bit worse for wear.
so I managed to get to 20 past four before it started raining so I'll just show you kind of like where I got up to with everything I'm just gonna have to go out in the rain and get things tidied up but there won't be anything major now until next week that goes on um but I dug out the raspberry plants and I've split them they attracted so many bees last year I don't want to completely get rid of them but I think for the amount of weeds that I've got at the bottom of the garden I'm going to have to take some pretty desperate um, weed control measures probably throwing down a load of weed killer. I have sprouts on the raspberry so now is the best time to do it it was the absolute latest that I could um, so I hope that they do survive the move into the new pots because yeah the bees loved them last year they were always swarming around them. Not loads of progress today but I've got all of the bush cleared saved up the wood as well i've saved some large bits of wood which can be cut down and stored and hopefully dry out to use on the fire next year and oh, at the end of this year yes things will start progressing quite a bit more now i think with the garden so i'll pick up this next week So it's the following Sunday, yesterday you'll have just seen that I carried on digging out the beds up the side of the garden which was a really really big workout, there was so many roots underneath uh, from the bush that I'd cut down so obviously I wanted to try and get all of those out so that it didn't regrow um, because there's a possibility that I'm going to be putting a shed sort of like down that part of the garden so obviously the last thing I want is for something to be coming up through the floor if I do do that. So I had a really big workout yesterday, lots of digging, 15,000 steps and I am a little bit achy today so I'm going to do something that's a little less active and paint the fence panels. I'll maybe do a little bit more clearing up along that side um, but it's looking actually a lot better than it was doing and I think that I'm probably going to be able to get away without rinsing everything with weed killer. I've taken a lot of stuff out by hand but I think if I put a weed sheet down, stick some mulch over the top, I might be able to get away with it and actually get some plants put in there this year. So we'll have to see how that pans out but hopefully that's the route I will be able to go down. So it's pretty cold today so I hope that I can manage because it is a little bit windy as well so we'll just see how we get on and see how much I can get done. So it's been a fairly productive weekend, I am 
pretty exhausted. It is just after six o'clock now and I've just finished tidying up. So I've got pretty much all of that side cleared now. There are some bits in the soil that need to be sifted out and then I can put down a weed sheet and then decide what I'm going to plant in there. There's still quite a lot at the bottom of the garden that needs shifting and also down the other side. Um, this is just going to have to be something that I get along with in the evenings. The clocks change next week so there are going to be longer nights which is great because I do quite like getting out in the garden after work so that will be good. I've had quite a productive time in the garden over the last couple of weeks. I've managed to clear all of those beds out down the side. There's still a lot more that needs to be done down there, but it really is looking so much better than it was before. Um, the clocks have gone forward now, so I've managed to get outside again tonight after work and do a little bit of touching up on the patio area fencing, have a bit of a sweep up, and I am not looking forward to jet washing that patio because... It is extremely dirty and that's probably going to have to be done over Easter weekend now because the weather is due to change over the next week and I'm actually due on holiday in a couple of weeks time. So when I come back Easter weekend I can look to getting more done outside. It's really nice to see actually even just over the last couple of weeks things that are starting to grow. Obviously my hyacinths are coming out now with it being that time of year. And I have got so many buds on the clematis. I didn't have that many last year. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that all come out into bloom. The azalea is really flowering now. And the raspberry plants that I took out do seem to have survived the move. So even though they do need repotting um, when I get some soil for it, that will get done. But I'm glad to see that they did survive. So they'll get potted up and the pots all need a fresh paint. But it's nice to see everything coming into bloom again. I've called someone that I've used before to get a price for getting new fencing down at the bottom of the garden, which I think is going to make a real difference. So hopefully I will be able to get that done over the next couple of weeks and then over Easter weekend, fingers crossed, weather permitting, and all of that's done, I can get the rest of that fencing sorted out at the bottom of the garden. The lawn is an absolute mess and... It's not probably not something that I'm going to get done this year, but it will need re-turfing and levelling off at some point. But I think I'm just going to have to make do for the time being. So in my next video, I'm hoping to show you some other bits that I have been doing around the house. I've updated the hallway and the bathroom. I've been doing it in dribs and drabs, which wasn't really full video worthy at the time because I was doing things here and there when I had the time. So I'll show you a round of things that I have been up to and also show you the plans of the next major part of the renovation. So thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.